Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to another episode of Tech with Ro. In this episode, we're going to further cover iTunes 12, the new version of iTunes. Let me begin by uh, opening it up here. It's the red icon now and uh, I believe this iTunes 12 comes with OS, OS uh, Yosemite. So I'm going to go iTunes about iTunes and show you guys that I am running an iTunes uh, 12. You might have to enlarge the screen to see this, but it's 12.0.0.81. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna teach. I'm gonna teach you guys how to sync to your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch. They're all very similar, and they're all gonna work in a very similar way. So, beginning off, you won't see your iPhone icon up here. Uh, be sure to check out my previous Tech with Row episode, though. Um, it shows you some of the basics, the layout of the new, the actual iTunes, and gives you a quick, basic overview of the new iTunes look. But uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by plugging in my iPhone. So I'm gonna unplug something and plug it in. And uh, as soon as it uh, pops up, it should pop up iPhone right here. Now this image capture device, uh, that's just to, so you can view what images and videos you have on your actual device, it'll pop up. But I'm gonna exit out of it. And right here, now you can see my iPhone popped up and I'm gonna click on it. Some of it will be blanked out here because I don't want uh, my serial number for my iPhone or nor my phone number out on an internet. So. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview real quick on what you're seeing on your screen as soon as you clicked on your iPhone once it's plugged in. Um, right here on the left hand side you'll have your navigation bar like of your map, apps, music. It'll tell you what you have currently syncing and I'll go into this in further detail in just a little bit. But the under summary is what we're going to be and I'm going to show you this iPhone 5 is going to tell you some of the main statistics I'm running on the latest version which is 7.1.2. You can check for updates but as you can see I already checked for updates on 8.11 which was uh not not those actually not that wait today 8 11 i'm confused but yeah restore iphone is uh, if you want to put it back to factory settings backups you also have your backup side just i don't don't want to back it up through icloud because it uses up a lot of my uh data sometimes and then it uses up my wi-fi as well but then uh, this computer just back it up to this computer and you can choose when you want to back up but each time you sync it will back up automatically um, so and create it. it says latest backup right here as well now if you scroll down further it will say options automatically sync with this iPhone is connected I normally just have sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi I have that I use it sometimes because uh, just in case I get a new song I want it to get it on my iPhone right away and then the rest uh, you really don't need to worry about unless you want to sync only check songs and videos but I'm gonna show you guys this uh, the, the best way to do this I'm gonna scroll back up here and uh, show you guys some. So the way we're gonna sync, first before you begin your sync, you're gonna go to, uh, you can go to info and get uh, like your contacts as well, but I'm gonna actually exit out of info. I'm gonna go straight into apps, and uh, from here you can uh, choose what apps you wanna install. It gives you an option to install or remove. And as you can see, there's like some of my apps as well, but then you go down to music is the one most important one is you want to you can choose what you want to sync. You can go to entire music library, which would be 765 songs for me, which I do not want. I only want selected playlists, artists and albums and genres. And as you can see, then you can go and you can choose what playlist you want. I want to recently added my faves and sweet. And those are the only ones I want. Those are basically the only songs I listen to. Like who, who listens to 716 songs? And, one day um that's definitely not me i don't even listen to 313 songs but i really don't need it to take up all that space and down here you can see the main um how much how much uh, how much um memory are like your audio is taking up and uh, how much memory your apps are taking up so my apps actually take up more of my memory than i have 109 apps and i can tell you i probably use a hundred of them <laughs> but yeah, audio is only taking a little bit. It's not like it uses a lot of memory. And then other as well, 3.3 gigabytes. But I still have some free. I like to have that free space there available. And then selected playlist, like I said. So once you have your playlist, choose that and you, what, what you want to sync. Um, you just do right here. I prefer syncing by a playlist, you know, like create a new playlist and uh, syncing that playlist because it may be that may be the only playlist you listen to. And uh, also, if you don't want to just sync an entire playlist, you can go to entire music library as well. Then you can go to movies, and then from here you can choose what movies you want to sync, if you have any, or you've put any on your uh, actual iTunes. Like, for example, exporting from iMovie and a movie you can put on your iTunes and then sync it to your iPhone then to show later to your friends and family. 
I, I don't want any at the moment because those videos do tend to use a lot of memory on the device. So then you can do TV shows, same thing. You can check it and then just like any episodes that you may have downloaded from iTunes. Then books, same thing with books. I only have one, which is uh, the Swift programming language. And then photos as well. I have all folders, but then you actually can choose specific folders if you want to choose folder up here. And all you got to do is have these, make sure these checkboxes are checked that way that means uh, it's going to be syncing if it's not checked that means it's not going to be syncing so i'm going to go back to i'm going to go to back to summary and uh, from here once you've made your changes all ready to sync you'll have a sync option here or apply and you can hit revert revert means uh basically undo whatever changes you may have just made so you, you would just hit simply hit apply and i didn't make any changes so it should just go in at the top here you'll, the screen you'll be able to see syncing rose iphone and it says step two of seven at this point you do not want to unplug your iphone because then it's not going to get everything and you might get an error message so try to keep your device uh, connected at all times while it's doing this backup and you'll be able to see what step it's on up here once it's done and once there's no uh doesn't say any step of seven it just says blank or it's, it goes it just turns back to your song that you're playing that means your iPhone is all synced and you should be all ready and this won't be grayed out anymore the sync option down here will be like it'll give you an option to sync again meaning that way you can sync again and your previous sync was already done I hope that didn't confuse you guys but other than that that's the basics of syncing your iDevice to iTunes so be sure to leave any comments in the comment section below I'll be glad to get back to you guys as soon as possible and uh, make more tutorials for you guys thank you and later Life be the proof, the proof of your love.